Hi, how you doing? Justin here again. Uh, this is part two of the Layla Unplugged version. Uh, Eric Clapton, great tune. Um, we've already looked at the intro and the intro solo, so now I'm going to take you through the chords for the song. Um, they're pretty much all bar chords. Um, it's kind of a shuffle strumming pattern, which I'll go through with you a little bit. Um, in the chorus, you're kind of using the riff like I showed you in the intro. So you probably, if you haven't checked it out yet, you probably want to go and check out that other version. Um, uh, other version, other lesson where I'll show you how to play the intro. Um, so let me just go through the chords first of all and explain what they are. Um, so in the verses, let's start with the first one, we've got a C sharp minor chord to a G sharp 7. C sharp minor, C, D, E, E7. F sharp minor, B, D, to A. F sharp minor, B, E, A, then the riff. sequence, C sharp minor. So that's the, the kind of the rough idea. Now, on the chords, you probably want to get the little chord sheet from my website. That'll probably be quite helpful. The strumming pattern in this song has got a little bit of a shuffle feel to it. It's basically a kind of down, down, up, up, down kind of pattern. Um, sometimes it's got little changes on it where it's just playing a chord once, so it just hits that chord with the down strum. So I'd, let me just talk you through the, the uh, A version of the strumming. Remember, of course, there's two guitars playing. They're both doing slightly different things. Um, but this is for the verses part. The choruses I'm going to explain in a sec slightly differently. So um, the verses, starting off with our C sharp minor. This is going to go down, down, up, down. G sharp seven, up, up, down, down. So it, there's little variations on it. It's generally, as long as you keep that hand moving through those verses, you can be playing the up strums or you can not be. It's kind of your call a little bit on that. Um, in the chorus, you're kind of losing that continuous movement of your hand, which I'm always talking about as being really important, because you want a lot of it to be down strums. Down, down, down. variations all of the way through depending on which one of those intro versions we're looking at. Now, uh, if you, I'm assuming that you've gone through that. The intro had kind of three slight rhythmic variations, all at the part where it's going from the B flat to the C chord. Sometimes in the first version, the first time through, the C chord is what's called pushed, which means it comes slightly before the beat. So you had this. <laughs> jumping forward a little bit there when it goes to the C chord. The second ver the, the, the kind of the second bar of my tab is right on the beat. So we've got B flat, C, C, D. So kind of the D feels a bit pushed and the C is right on the beat. On the third version, you slide into the C on the beat. So you have this. You got so it's like they're all different variations and what's happening on the record is kind of a mixture of different guitar Eric Clapton and the other guitar player whose name escapes me um, are playing slightly different things plus there's a vocal going on and backing vocals and keyboards so it's all a little bit um, ambiguous you don't really know and it doesn't really matter which one you want to play I know if I'm singing it and playing it at the same time I can't play the riff exactly as it is like at the intro if I'm not singing because singing and playing somehow those two things get a bit connected and it doesn't really matter I'm sure it's you know, you know well I hope no one's been listening to it and thinking crikey you know it kind of sounds right but he's not doing the riff right when he's singing you know I don't think that's very likely to happen possible quite possible okay we've pretty much covered all the bits in the main arrangement now um, it goes the intro of course the little intro solo then verse one chorus verse two chorus verse three chorus chorus solo chorus chorus 
pretty straightforward little arrangement there. Um, if you're going to perform it, you just need to make sure that you get the arrangement right in your head. So please join me for part three where we're going to check out the main solo. See you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.